Welcome, welcome to another year at Hogwarts. This is Albus Dumbledore, Order of Merlin, third class, honorary member of the Dark Force Defense League, and five times winner of Witch Weekly's Most Charming Smile Award. No, wait, sorry, wrong bio. That was this twit. <laughs> Albus Percival Wolfric Bram Dumbledore actually needs no introduction. If you've had any contact with the Harry Potter books and films, you'd already know him as the peerless headmaster of Hogwarts and have heard him described as not only the greatest wizard of his age, but also the only wizard Voldemort ever feared. As long as Dumbledore's around, Harry, you're safe. As long as Dumbledore's around, you can't be touched. And unlike Gilderoy Lockhart, this sterling sorcerer goes in more for pointed glances than he does charming smiles. Dumbledore, or as he's known in some circles, Professor Dumbledore, is a complicated figure. Whether we're discussing his tragic early family life, in all the time you knew him, did he ever mention my name? Did he ever mention hers? Or the dissolution of his intense relationship with Gellert Grindelwald. And now, with the secrets of Dumbledore about to hit cinemas around the world, we get a whole new window into Dumbledore's past. We'll see events play out that were the stuff of legend by the time Harry Potter was at school. Until then, however, let's go on a journey through some of the most memorable Albus Dumbledore moments to date. That is one of my more brilliant ideas. And between you and me, that is saying something. Oh, and it goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. Consider this your spoiler warning for all the Harry Potter films and the first two Fantastic Beasts. So why would I need a safe house in Paris? I hope she won't, but should things at some point go terribly wrong, it's good to have a place to go. You know, for a cup of tea. No, 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 absolutely not. Let's kick off with some of Dumbledore's trademark pearls of wisdom. In Harry's first year, he discovers the mirror of Erised, which appears to show him his long dead parents, but it is only an illusion. This mirror gives us neither Knowledge or truth, men have wasted away in front of it, even gone mad. It does not do to dwell on dreams, Harry, and forget to live. As Harry continued his schooling, he began to see worrying parallels between himself and Voldemort, his ability to speak parcel tongue, the fact that he was almost sorted into Slytherin House. Dumbledore, however, was always there to reassure him. You possess many of the qualities that Voldemort himself prizes. Determination, resourcefulness, and if I may say so, a certain disregard for the rules. Why then did the Sorting Hat place you in Gryffindor? Because I asked it to. Exactly, Harry, exactly. It is not our abilities that show what we truly are. It is our choices. In fact, without Dumbledore, Harry may not have made it through. Mysterious thing, time. Powerful, and when meddled with, dangerous. Sirius Black is in the topmost cell of the Dark Tower. You know the laws, Miss Granger. You must not be seen. And you would do well, I feel, to return before this last chime. If not, the consequences are too ghastly to discuss. If you succeed tonight, more than one innocent life may be spared. Three turns should do it, I think. Dumbledore's wisdom extends far beyond words, of course. He is the master of setting things in motion, of gently shaping events from the sideline. Despite orchestrating the climactic events of Prisoner of Azkaban, for instance, Dumbledore neatly stays out of it. He's free. We did it. Did what? Good night. Some of Dumbledore's most memorable moments, however, are when he's swept up in events he didn't foresee and cannot control. When Harry's name comes out of the Goblet of Fire, for instance, Harry Potter. Dumbledore loses his composure. Harry Potter! We've never seen this side of him before. Did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? It's scary to see this bedrock of the wizarding world in such a state of shock when Harry is forced into the Triwizard Tournament. This is Dumbledore at his most relatable, lifted up in the swell of events and hoping to discover what's going on before everyone's dashed onto rocks by unseen forces. Every time I get close to an answer, 
It slips away. This flows neatly into the compassionate side of Dumbledore's character. He cares about his teachers. He cares about his students and former students. Regret is my constant companion. Do not let it become yours. And he cares deeply about Harry and wants to protect him. One of us is going to have to kill the other in the end. Yes. Why didn't you tell me? For the same reason you tried to save Sirius. For the same reason your friend saved you. After all these years, after all you've suffered, I didn't want to cause you any more pain. And yet, Dumbledore understands how this must play out, making it all the more tragic. So when the time comes, the boy must die. Yes, yes, he must die. Okay, this is getting heavy. Let's lighten the mood for a bit. Um, remember that time when... As a school treat, all exams have been cancelled. Seems ill-advised from an educational perspective, but I guess that's why Hogwarts has a reputation as a party magic school. Another thing that makes Dumbledore one of a kind is his tendency towards the theatrical. Why be a wizard after all if you don't act the part? We now have our three champions, but in the end, only one will go down in history. Only one will hoist this chalice of champions, this vessel of victory, the Triwizard Cup. And what's the point of being the greatest sorcerer alive if you don't show it off occasionally? I have no intention of going to Azkaban. You may not like him, Minister, but you can't deny Dumbledore's got style. Quick, under the cloak. Don't say a word, be quiet, both of you. Professor Dumbledore, sir. This brings us neatly to Dumbledore's uncanny ability to peer through the veil of magic and see the truth of things. You will find that help will always be given at Hogwarts to those who ask for it. Sometimes this is a literal veil. And sometimes it's more of an armchair of magic. No need to disfigure me, Elvis. But I must say, you make a very convincing armchair, Horace. It's all in the upholstery. I come by the stuffing naturally. What gave me away? Point is, Dumbledore often seems to exist on a higher plane than others, able to restore a room with a lazy wave of his wand or stop Harry from hitting the ground without any wand at all. Arresto momentum! My absolute favourite example of this, however, would be when Dumbledore tosses aside one of Hogwarts' most foundational rules. Take my own. So I thought you couldn't have right within Hogwarts. Well, being me has its privileges. Of course, that kind of magic is just the tip of the iceberg, and there's nothing like seeing Dumbledore really letting loose. Whether he's facing off against Voldemort or using the last of his strength to save himself and Harry and escape certain death. Power isn't everything, however, and indeed, many of my favourite Dumbledore moments are when he knows instinctively how to play a situation. He knows what Professor Slughorn values, for instance. I would have considered it a great personal triumph if you consented to return to Hogwarts. Oh, well. Oh, you're like my friend Mr. Potter here, one of a kind. He knows that the Ministry will try to outmaneuver him when Harry is on trial. You, you got our message that the time and place of the hearing had been changed, did you? I must have missed it, but by a happy mistake, I arrived at the Ministry three hours early. He sees a good man in Snape. Ginny and James put their faith in the wrong person, Severus. Rather like you. A man who can be trusted. 
The Dark Lord will return. And when he does, the boy will be in terrible danger. No one can know. And just as crucially, he knows exactly what to leave to Harry, Hermione and Ron in his will. Giving them not only the clues they need to understand the importance of the Deathly Hallows, but to ultimately prevail against Voldemort. Beyond the Deathly Hallows, of course, there's the Horcruxes and the role Harry himself must play. How would you find them? They could be hidden anywhere, couldn't they? True, but magic, especially dark magic. And here it becomes clear that Dumbledore knows the terrible truth of Harry's connection to Voldemort. Leaves traces. These events are bigger than Harry, of course. They're bigger than Dumbledore and they're bigger than Snape. This was Dumbledore's true gift to the wizarding world being prepared to sacrifice everything to save everyone, and knowing that Harry would be brave enough to do so too. Harry Potter, the boy who lived, come to die. If there's one Dumbledore moment that rises up above all the others, however, for me, it would have to be his final sacrifice. Here we see not just Dumbledore's commitment and bravery, Please. but Snape's also. <laughs> Dumbledore may have passed away, but he will never truly be gone. Finally, let's celebrate Dumbledore for some of his smaller moments and what they represent. His quirks. I do love knitting patterns. His sense of humour. Hmm. Alas. Earwax. His sentimentality. I forget how much you've grown. At times I still see the small boy from the cupboard. And his enduring belief in the power of love. Do not pity the dead, Harry. Pity the living, and above all, all those who live without love. Albus Dumbledore is a compelling figure, and while he's kept a relatively low profile in the first two Fantastic Beasts films, he was instrumental in events nonetheless, giving Newt a reason to travel to New York where he could play a critical role in exposing Grindelwald, just as he ensured Scamander was in Paris to attempt to help the obscurial Credence Barebone. Two huge story moments at the end of The Crimes of Grindelwald have set the stage for The Secrets of Dumbledore. The first being the revelation of Credence's true identity, Aurelius Dumbledore. And the second being the retrieval of Grindelwald's vial, which hopefully, finally, means that Dumbledore can undo their blood pact and move against Grindelwald. If we're to defeat him, you'll have to trust me. Will we see the famous duel between the two? And what secrets will be laid bare? I know how painful the rumours about your brother Corvus must be for you. No, you don't. Not unless you had a brother who died too. In my case, it was my sister. Fantastic Beasts The Secrets of Dumbledore is hitting cinemas on April 7th in Australia, April 8th in the UK and April 14th in America. And now, why not check out the official gameplay reveal for Hogwarts Legacy? And for everything from the Wizarding World, you're in the right place. IGN. Oops.